Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan with Simply Megan Plans. And if you are not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as hitting the like button if you like this video. Also, if you are on Instagram, make sure you go and search me up over there at Simply Megan Plans. I also have the links to everything in the description of every single one of my videos. I am so thankful that you guys are here. So let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So this video, as you can tell from the title, is the top 10 planner must-haves for beginners. So this is going to be what I personally think. This is all my own opinion, but I have been planning since 2014, which at this point has been almost eight years now, but I have learned a thing or two since then and have found the things that I should have gotten to begin with and I you know I, I wish I would have known because I did waste a lot of money at the beginning trying to figure out what I need or don't need or that was a waste because it's not worth the money and you know it's worth getting a better item and spending a little bit more as opposed to the cheap stuff so Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that I definitely, 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 I cannot recommend this enough, is the Tombow Whiteout, or it's called Correction Tape, but I like to get this hybrid style, which means that it's like this kind of elongated one instead of they normally have like a short and fat one, but this one's skinny and long. I am so obsessed with the Tombow Whiteout. It is totally different than the Bic Whiteout. The Bic Whiteout is normally what you would find at like Target or Walmart. But when I put this Whiteout down, it actually stays. But the Bic Whiteout, when you put it down, sometimes it'll like stick. When you pull up, it'll stick to the page or it'll stick onto this and then you have to like push it back down also when you write on top of the bic it like peels up but this i'm telling you is worth the money so i will have this linked in the description below i always get it on amazon i get it actually in a 10 count it's like this big actually let me get it for you so i guess i threw away the container but it's like this long cardboard box and it just has, I think 10, maybe even 12 of these all lined up and it has been a lifesaver. Having just one, first of all, is definitely not worth the money. Like you do not need to spend that much on just one, but 10 of them, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is like $11 or something like that. So it's seriously worth the money. Also, uh, you can just be using it, using it, using it, and then all of a sudden you're just out. And you're like, wait, what? How did I use that much? But so getting it in that big bulk pack has been a lifesaver because I always have multiple on reserve, you know, and then it lasts me super, super long, like the entire year. So I definitely recommend getting white out. You always make, make mistakes, or sometimes I like to white out a certain sticker. So um, I use this like crazy, and it always sits in this little candle um, that I used, you know, I cleaned it out, but this used to be a candle. I got it for like 50 cents at Target on clearance. So anyways, that sits up there. Number two is a black pen. That is probably the most used thing or, you know, all of these things I use a lot. But having a black pen is a lifesaver. I mean, finding your absolute favorite. This is a, what is it called? I always forget. Muji. I get them on Amazon as well, which will be linked below. I get them on Amazon. I think they come in a five pack. And I love it. It is seriously such a thin tip and it is so smooth. I absolutely love it. I also really, really love the Sharpie pens, which are super, super thin. And 
I love it. I mean, it's a Sharpie, so it's super smooth. There's no little breakups in the line when you draw, anything like that. It's not like a Sharpie marker where it bleeds through or anything like that. So that's why I love this. And I use it like crazy, so, you know, it's all messed up <laughs> on the outside. I also really like getting the friction pens. These are clicky ones. There's also an eraser at the end. I don't love the ink, but anyways, I have so many different kinds of Sharpies, any, uh, all different kinds of black pens. I'm going to put my black pen review video in the description below. I use so many different black pens, but by far Muji is my favorite. But if you are interested in watching that video, definitely take a look at that. But whiteout and black pen is definitely my top two. Number three, by far, and I am telling you from experience, getting some curved tip tweezers is the biggest luxury that you can have, I think, in the planner community. Um, it is so helpful to have these. Let me show you an, an example. Trying to pick up these stars is like such a pain. Sometimes, I don't know, and then just putting your tiny little tweezers under and it picks it up, it's so easy, and then you can place it, and it's so easy because holding this and placing it down, you just don't know how you're gonna place it, but using it with tweezers, oh my gosh. I am telling you, you will never go back. I do not plan without these. I am totally obsessed. They are super, super pointy, super, super thin at the tip, so they go under a sticker really well. They place down really well. Oh my gosh. They are a lifesaver. I got these on Amazon, which I said I will link below. And they came with this really awesome, like, um, plastic thing to go on the end. And it fell on the floor and my cat chewed it up. So I don't have it anymore. But anyways, it goes on the tip really, really nicely. And um, so it won't, like, if you are trying to get it out of, like, a, a bag or anything, it won't, like, poke you, you know? So that is my number three. Okay, this is one of my newer ones, but I don't know how I went this long without it. It is non-stick scissors. Oh, my goodness. Non-stick scissors are my absolute favorite. So let me show you. Okay, so as you can see on these scissors, there is all sorts of like sticky stuff, old stickers, like, ew, it is gross. And then when it gets all sticky, then there's like dog hair and cat hair and dust and all sorts of stuff that sticks to it. But these non-stick scissors, you use them and nothing gets stuck. They are super pointy at the end. I love the grip. They're so smooth. I absolutely am obsessed with the fact that it comes with a cap. Oh my gosh, it's the best. It is seriously the best and it, it oh my gosh. These scissors I am absolutely obsessed with. Also, I got them on Amazon, so those will be linked below. All of these links um, will all be below. They are all um, mostly from Amazon. I'm obsessed with Amazon, so make sure you use those links directly because I get a teeny tiny percentage, but it helps me out tremendously. So. Next is going to be highlighters. These in particular are called mild liners. I have every single color. And I'm totally obsessed. I love the colors. 
They are dual tip, which one side is the bold tip and one side is the fine tip. And there's so many different colors and they're mild. So none of them are like highlighters, which are like neon colors, which I also really, really like these, but there's just something about the mild liners. There's something that makes me continue to keep on using them. I love that they have such specific colors and not just the generic yellow, green, orange, you know? So mild liners are a huge, huge thing that I use every single day. I love to actually highlight on top of a sticker and then I write on it and it just kind of makes it pop out a little bit. I don't know. I'm obsessed. I love them so much. I have, like I said, every single pack, which is only five, but anyways, I was going to keep them in line. Okay. Next definitely is an X-Acto knife. This is a Fiskars that I've had for a very long time. And I, yeah, I actually um, chipped the tip of it. I was using it like this and it, I actually caught it on video, one of these videos from the past, but I really need to get a new um, blade for it. But anyways, it's a Fiskars and Fiskars is probably the most popular um, I would really like to get a, maybe a more petite one and not so big, but either way, I use this like crazy. I love to have it like exact, which is why it's called an exacto knife and it's the best. So that will be linked below. I also have, I'm going to put a link that of one that I have not tried, but it looks so much fun to have because it's retractable like you push this down and it goes in and then you push it down and then it comes back out like a you know a retractable pen and that seems so much fun because you don't have to have a cap that you might lose and then you'll never get stabbed because you can put it in you know so i'll link that below i've not tried it but i definitely like it's in my cart right now like i really want to go buy it so Okay, next is my post-it labeling and cover-up tape. You guys, I use this stuff like crazy. This is a brand new one that I've not used yet, but I use it like absolute crazy. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just tape. Like it's sticky and it's white. So instead of using a lot of white out, sometimes I will just use this to cover up a big amount of space. Um, also, a lot of other people use Avery sticker paper, but I found that I just really like this because it is small and I can use it and it's super perfect and it's post-it. So you know it's going to be nice and sticky. Next is my tape runner which is, I love the Elmer's one. I don't know about you guys, but I love the Elmer's. I use it like crazy. Um, I love the shape of this. So when you're putting it down, I don't know, it's just, it holds really nicely. And then when you run out, you push this button, this one up here, and you pull this out and then you put the refill in. So here's my other refill and you just pop it in and you have more. So when you, I'll show you on this sticky note, but when you run it down, then this is seriously so sticky. Then you, it's like, it's permanent. I mean, it is the craziest, stickiest stuff ever. So I use it like crazy whenever something doesn't quite stick all the way or when I am attaching two pieces of paper together. It's just amazing because when you use a glue stick, I just, I cannot get with the glue stick. Let me show you. Um, you know, I love Yubi, which is like the highlighters that I just showed, but 
gluing two pieces of paper together, it makes it kind of like bubble. And when it dries, it just, it's not flat, which is why I love the tape runner. So I use this like crazy. Um, and the fact that you can refill it and it comes with two instead of rebuying a whole new one every single time, it's amazing. The next one, I think by far, it's definitely gonna be a ruler. I got these Westcott rulers as a two pack. I love that they are small enough that I can stick in a pencil pouch and it's just no big deal. Um, I do have a full size ruler, but honestly, nine times out of 10, I just need a small line. So writing a, or being able to trace a small line, it's just, it's perfect. I also really like that it's on a, like it's already punched. So sometimes I will actually hang it up here which I know you can't see, but right above me, I have a pegboard. And so I have hooks up there that I can just hang this on. And I don't know, I love them, they're small. I also use it a lot whenever I am doing washi. So this is another big reason why I use my rulers. So I put some tape down. And if I wanna make a perfectly straight line, then I can use the ruler to kind of like hold down the washi and then they're straight lines and it's perfect because the only other thing that you can do is use your exacto, which some people really don't like to use their exacto on the page because they don't want to cut through the page if you are heavy handed. The other thing you could do is scissors, but that's always tricky if you're going to make it perfectly straight or not when you're already on the page. So that's what I mostly use my rulers for is cutting washi. But the other thing is making lines, especially now that I've been using a bullet journal. All right, and grand finale, the last thing that I recommend for anybody that is starting out and you don't have any of the tools and you're wondering, what to get, what you need is post-its. So I got this really fun post-it sphere at Office Max like years ago, and I'm not even going to admit to you how much, how expensive this thing was, but you definitely don't need to get this. I just, I couldn't resist. And it was honestly like four years ago, five years ago, something like that. So I saw it and I really wanted it, but this is just an example. I have so many different post-its. I like these kind of post-its that I got from Walmart that are already punched that say to do and this one says urgent. I really like these post-its that the full thing is sticky. Um, so you pull it up and the whole post-it sticks to the page. Um, I like these smaller ones. They're really awesome. I also have pop-up notes where you pull it out and this is just really cute. I love this. It's like a Polaroid camera and you pull it out and it's just fun. Um, there's also tons of post-its that I have gotten over the years from the Happy Planner and I've made a huge book of them and <laughs> I just love them. They're just so much fun. Um, post-its really, really help when you are pre-planning. So you can pop this in and say, make sure you pay the mortgage or over here, go to the car wash or I don't know. It's like a really nice way to be able to jot things down in your planner without writing it in pen or even writing it in pencil and you erase it, you can still kind of see it on the page. So that's why I like to get post-its. Um, but this was just a splurge. It definitely was a splurge. It was it was close to $20. I'm just gonna tell you that. So um, I really love post-its where I can just jot something down really quick and I throw it away and you know it's not like I'm wasting anything because they are always helpful. So 
those are my top 10 planner must-haves. We have whiteout, pen, curved tweezers, scissors, mild liners, exacto knife, post-it cover-up tape, permanent tape runner, rulers, and sticky notes. So all of those things, I will find a link for you for every single thing, and I will have it in the description below. Let me know any questions you have, anything that you are wondering, maybe, hey, I just got a big thing of rubber bands. How can I use rubber bands? Or do you think I should get more washi tape? Or what do you do with Crayola markers or, you know, any kind of questions that you have, let me know in the comments below. And until then, please like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.